Hey guys, welcome to E3. Here we go again at the Electronic Entertainment Expo, where for three days, the LA Convention Center turns into the center of the gaming universe. E3 is where those professionally involved in video games come to see all that's new and great. Activision Blizzard, you know, being the number one publisher, there's a certain weight, a certain responsibility, a certain expectation on what type of booth and what kind of showing you would have at E3. Last year, we literally had the biggest screen that's ever been in the convention center. This year, to do something different, what we really wanted to do was invite people into our games, and that really drove a strategy of immersion. So when you go into the booth, you actually are in the game. This year with this booth, I think the one primary piece that really stands out is, of course, the show mode. It's a massive 190-degree screen. 120-foot by 25-foot tall screen. You have to develop these ways of working when you're dealing with something that's never been done before. You know, this pixel density, 2,000 by 10,000, is really unwieldy. There aren't systems in place. It's not as though you're dealing with standard HD footage. You're not even 4K. You're dealing with technically 10K. This booth took over 100 semi-trucks worth of gear and equipment and fabrication materials. This booth is a beast, and trying to build it takes a lot of effort. We've actually been here for about two weeks, setting up, laying down carpet, building the walls, putting up stuff in the air. For the first time this year, since we've become an entity, we're actually doing the booth as Activision Blizzard. This year, we're really focusing on the tent poles. So we've got the new Call of Duty, we've got Destiny, Skylanders, and with Blizzard along, we've got Diablo 3 on console for the first time. You know, I think it speaks to our strategy as a company that we approach games as more than games. We approach them as entertainment brands and as mass entertainment brands. And you walk around the show, there's a lot of great games, there's a lot of great companies doing a lot of great things, but there's one Activision. We've got a whole host of special effects. We've got pyro, we've got smoke, We've got vibrating floors, all to make you feel like you're in the game. The rumbling floor, the wind blowing through as you are falling down the skyscraper. So we tried to get live open flame in the booth, something that's never been done here at E3. The Activision booth is amazing. It's huge. I mean, I'm looking at that. I'm looking at the robotic arms with a TV screen. That screen, which was just phenomenal, 125 feet wide by 25 feet tall. With the booth the way it is, with that huge 122 foot screen, people are just floored by how good it looks. Fans coming out of the Call of Duty Ghost demo. First look, what did you think? Uh, I'm not even a first person shooter guy, but that made me want to play. To see these incredible, strong blockbuster titles all the way across. It just makes it such an important statement of the power of this company. E3 was a real turning point for us this year in that we were able to actually take the game out of the box, put it up on the stage, put it up on the screen, and let everybody see what the goods are. It's an experience that's leaving people kind of walking away, shaking their head, and wondering what's next. There's a sense of scale, a sense of gravitas, a sense of magnetism and importance to the way our games are received, the way our games are presented, that I think just outpaces everything else in the industry, not only this industry, but in all of entertainment.